There we go. You're good. Wow, that was an awful sound. <laughs> that was you. Was that the table? SpongeBob with the the hook. The hash slinging slash. The sash binging. The, the, the trash tinging. Half the, the shit you both say is from SpongeBob. It's like, disgusting how much. Like, like I saw they're watching fucking a compilation of like SpongeBob's like. The funniest scenes of SpongeBob, and I, I feel like you guys watch it all the time. It's like, are you watching the same video all the time, or is no? Like so what videos? happens is, we'll a, a quote will randomly pop into our head, and we'll say it, and we'll die laughing, and then we'll have to like look it up mm-hmm. and just relive that yeah. moment. I guess the taste just jumps out constantly. I just, <laughs> the flavor. The flavor. I don't know why, but like that show is so ingrained into my memory, so deep that like. Like, it's it, it, it's not that it's all I think about. It's just it always mm. comes up, <laughs> and it's well. and it's so entertaining for all ages, all ages. Like I can see my grandparents laughing at that shit too. Like oh, my dad used to watch it with me. Like it is so funny. Even like looking back on episodes, it's so oh yeah, good. Like, some of the little dirty jokes they'll make that, that would go right them. over kill kids' heads. <laughs> yep. Yeah, when it's SpongeBob's crazy. watching porn, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. Yeah, they don't make shit like that anymore. They really no. don't. Now they got like. I can't even name. I can't even. Think yeah, of what that. cartoons are out right now? <laughs> yeah, what? I'd be what really surprised if you I mean, could name one. Kenny would know. You have you do auditions for shit all the no, time. No, he knows unreleased cartoons. Ooh, okay. Ooh. It's funny. I actually just got an audition for a show that I can't talk about. That um, it required me to sing at the end of it, and it just says, "Okay, the role is a singing role. Pick any song. Um, we just want to see your singing ability." But they required you to sing like a verse and yeah. a chorus. And I'm like, that's it was longer than my audition. Like a verse and a chorus is longer than like, like the not just happy yeah. birthday. Yeah. Like it, it was like pick Weird. a song of your choice. And Can you um, sing? well what in did cartoons? you do? <laughs> oh wait, is this the one you posted on your story? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Every episode. Every time. <laughs> it's a tradition. It is every time. It's really bad. I need it. It's charging. <laughs> what do you need it charged for? We're filming a pop. Uh, we want it to die. God. So it just I know, stops I know, making I know. noise. He just so fucking <laughs> happy. And that wasn't even my charge. That was your charger. So wow, <laughs> you threw it right in the coffee spill. <laughs> From three episodes. We still yeah, I love how like that just stayed there. That coffee just kind of sat there. What do you want me to do? Tear the whole know. setup. I just thought you couch? guys would clean it up for me. We're gonna. Re- I did. <laughs> We're gonna redecorate. Yeah, soon. hours later, while you let us sit. <laughs> that gave people such anxiety. They were like, "Why is no one cleaning up the yeah. coffee?" The show it, must go on. Right. Yeah. All right. Well, let's get. Let's get. Wait, no, let's no. no. I, I want to hear a song. We got to. We, we gotta, need to say the intro. I'm not singing. What is this? A ten minute fucking. Kenny, sing the intro. They pay me for that. <laughs> yeah, 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 people don't know that it says unfiltered. How do they not know? What else is it saying? It was something funny. I, I read a comment and I started laughing because it kind of did sound like it when I listened to it back. <laughs> All right, let, hit it. Y'all listen to it. Tell me what you boom, think. Boom, boom. I'm looking at the wrong camera. <laughs> I'm like... Uh, <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Guys, welcome back to Zane Heath Unfiltered I'm your host Zane. Ooh. <laughs> Try again Do it again, we're not, we're not gonna start again. Zane Zane I completely lost my voice They should have sent my audition to you <laughs> <laughs> um, And who are you? Hey, hey, who, who are, are you? Who are you? Hey, 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 who are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Heath Very good The other host of Zane and Heath Unfiltered mm. We've got the lovely Mariah Amato And Kenny Allen I'm Best not lovely <laughs> And the less lovely Kenny <laughs> Allen And yeah. the Kenny And the Kenny What do you want to start with? I feel like so much <laughs> There been- is a lot to talk about today But I want to just start off This podcast saying I want to apologize in advance I'm so hungover very hungover. Like That's I okay. don't feel good. But I'm we doing get it. My You're best. a rock star now. I'm doing my we best. get it. You know, I'm doing my best. No, no, no. He's a guys. pop star now. Oh, oh. oh. guys, don't throw it out. Like we that. know everybody's oh. waiting for the story. We'll get there. Okay, we'll get there. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna let it, a little more hype it's to like, it before we like get to it. It's like having a really nice meal out. You start yeah. with like the exactly, and you know and what the entree is gonna be. Right, right, so right. It's exciting. Well, let's start off with our week. We've had a a lovely time. We went to Catalina Island, which feels like. An entirely different country Dude, Those pictures you posted Were beautiful so Was pretty. the scenery beautiful Or was my photography beautiful No I think it was I think it was Catalina Yeah no Catalina is absolutely incredible I can't like, believe it's LA County It's so bizarre oh, it yes. Yeah you, you, you get there on a boat right you On a ferry a Yeah on a you ferry could get a, You could take a ferry Or a helicopter So they took me I was the ferry <laughs> That just chucked them on my back <laughs> um, Yeah we took it It was like an hour boat ride To get there um, I think it's like 22 miles Or something off the coast 22 is that how long, how far, or how long does it That's take like to get there? That's like here to Santa uh, An Monica. hour. An, 
Okay. But it's crazy. Like you pull up and it's this giant harbor and there's like houses like on the like the cliffs along the side, like all in the hill. There's just, just people that live there. Yeah. Just live on Catalina. It, it feels like mm-hmm. somewhere like you would stop on a cruise ship to like get off, which they do. Like a lot of people like Oh yeah, I bet. When they dock they go yeah. on. Is that a hotel on the water right there? Mm-hmm. Wow. Yes mm-hmm. it is. And we did not stay there, we stayed <laughs> Up in the hill. It was cheaper. We got we got a nice little deal. Oh, wait, can you take me next time? There was yes. a lovely little Motel Six. Oh. Right, and, but, but it's crazy because you can literally go there and come back at night. Like you can go to the island. And yeah. Just, like, There's a ferry at so seven a.m. and then you come back. I'm at night. we don't like we haven't done that. Like are we haven't. Like, we are not spontaneous enough. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, let's go. We don't like. Moving. Let's go back. <laughs> Walking around there, you feel like okay, everybody's just here visiting. Yeah. But there's a high school. There's like schools. There's one high High school. School. There's one high school. Do you think they have a class just for wine? Like wine tasting 101 or wine (laughs) mixing 101? They have to have classes for that shit. How to grow it. Something like that. Uh, But it's it's unreal. Wow. They have a high school. There's a golf course on it. There's a hospital. Oh, Baby, that just sounds like heaven for you, huh? There's a I'm think, hospital. I'm thinking about retiring There's already. There's a store. Golf course. Oh, wait, it we says live it's, in. I think it says it's K through 12. Avalon High School, it's called. I they never leave the island. <laughs> I think that's the craziest room. thing. That like a school that will have K through 12 and everybody's in the same fucking building. Yeah. It is that's crazy to me. me. Yeah. What's even wilder is a one-room schoolhouse. Um, remember I... I didn't know about it until Mariah. Uh, it's a, uh, we need a one room. Do you, have you heard? Of, do you know what a one room schoolhouse is? No, no. You Floridians. Hold on, wait a sec. Well, okay. Can I can I take a guess? Uh huh. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna guess a, it's one room. No, no. One there's room. a um. There's a scene in um Holes, the movie Holes with Shia LaBeouf, where there's a class and it's like it's it's one building. It's a class and it looks like kind of like a house, but it's not. Uh-huh. And inside it's one classroom. Is that is that what? Pretty much, like, yeah. It looks like a little church. It's like very like old little... school traditional. Yeah, it's all grades in one room learning is, together. Is it like a giant classroom or is it? No, just it's like... tiny. It was only maybe like maximum forty kids. Wow. I still don't but understand in, how. And then, like, when I was in uh, elementary school, they would take us to field trips because we had a bunch of one-room schoolhouses in Pennsylvania mm-hmm. um, that are obviously vacant. My brother's, uh, two of my brother's friends actually live in a one-room schoolhouse. A single teacher would typically have students in the first through eighth grades, and she taught them all. <laughs> they would my all God. be in the same room learning. That doesn't make sense. And then there would sense. be, and then there would be an outhouse if they had to go to the bathroom. Yeah. And like we would stand in the schoolyard, and they would teach us like the games that kids used to play. And I don't I, understand what that would look like. Like I just picture it being like A is for apple. Okay, now long division. Is for <laughs> <laughs> right. Exactly. It doesn't make I just, sense. It's I like per- it's it's inappropriate because I feel like the conversations like uh, like older kids are having they shouldn't be around like little kids. Like, <laughs> they class, have sex you know? ed in front of like preschoolers. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna use the line. It was a different time. <laughs> It was a different time. It was, though. It was probably more basic. You know how intricate learning is now? It was probably more just basic. It's a good thing we all grow and expand and do things better now. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Exactly. Anyways. Uh, But we did have a couple really funny stories we wanted to tell that happened while we were on... uh, Well, well, you share it now. The Uh, floor is yours. All right, so when we were walking around, I was just like taking pictures of stuff, and my mom was like, oh, look, a hawk. And it was this... Giant <laughs> hawk on. T- I think I think I've got a picture of it before. Your mom, um, your mom in any story, I just like it's already funny to me. She's just, she's just so excited about the littlest things. Yeah. Um, so there's this giant hawk like sitting up on this like top of the building, and we're all looking at it. I grab the picture, and we're just like, "Wow, isn't that crazy? A hawk!" And we look back, and it goes, opens its wings, swoop like down, beelines towards us. As we're like looking, like pointing and talking about uh-huh. it, swoops down. Comes literally a foot away from our faces, opens its wings and just goes right to the side of us. And we were just like freaking out. Like it was just like, like, it was almost like it was showing off. Like it knew you were talking about it and it was like, I'm going to show, I'm going to show these motherfuckers what I'm doing. It was like, Mm -hmm. you know, when like you're told not to point when you're younger, like it looked like you pointed pointed and it was just like, oh, here we go. And that was the consequence. Yeah. Swoop down, open up. Turned right, right before like hitting us in the face yeah. and landed on this guy's arm who like looked like a fucking superhero. So, so it was so his, the hawk it, was tame. It was his hawk. Yeah, yeah. it was, was like, his hawk. Wait, who is this guy? Yeah, yeah. I, this I, hawk I, landed he was on trained. him. He does that all day, I bet. Just people that are like, oh, yeah. look at the hawk. And then he's like, Gives. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Gives yeah. it like a little cookie when we're not looking. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, so, I'm just so surprised that they can be tamed. I mean, like, I because it's so weird because around your house, I've seen hawks. Yeah. 
And I just they I don't know they're just they seem so majestic I just feel like they're not something that's like meant to be I think it's crazy tamed like that. I don't think like they are meant to be tamed. tamed yeah let them free yeah. I mean, Miley Cyrus said can't be tamed you know <laughs> have you heard of like groundhog uh, racing like how awful they like treat those dogs groundhog racing groundhog uh, ground uh, groundhog uh, fuck not groundhog uh, ground greyhound greyhound dog sorry. <laughs> That is a different Gra- species. Groundhog <laughs> racing. Wow. I was That's trying to heard picture of it. it. I was, guys, groundhog, guys. I was like, get out of the hole. Get out of the yeah, hole. Yeah, he dead ass put his fingers on the keyboard and was about to type in <laughs> I was like, groundhog that, racing. That would be funny, though, having four holes and everybody gets a groundhog. Whoever's can pop up first wins. <laughs> wow. Fuck. He sorry about that. He almost said groundhog Ooh. day. You heard that? Greyhound dog racing. Like, yes. Like, right. they treat those yes. animals like... Apparently, I don't know if this is like a myth or if this is like an actual thing, <laughs> but it's been told that like when those dogs aren't good anymore, they, they kill them. They just fucking dump them. They kill them and dump them to the mm-hmm. side, which is so fucked up. And I feel like I don't know how that's not illegal to to do that because it's a dog. Is it, isn't yeah. it illegal to kill a dog any, anyways? I'm not sure it exactly better be. what the consequences are, but yeah, if you uh, – like yeah. animal abuse, any sort of stuff like that like yeah. is – like. A criminal like, offense. If, how far can you go? Like, remember the time? God, I hate talking about this. It's like PTS fucking D. But the time I ran over that dog accidentally, and it was yeah. like the worst day of my fucking life. I like, you felt like I ran over a kid. It was right. like, I was. Crying. That was that was accidental. That wasn't like. Yeah, but like that lady could go to the full extent to like just really. No, because it should have been because she uh, didn't have under, the dog on yeah, a leash. Okay, control. so it's I like know. yeah. All right. I can't. I can't look at the. I will. I will literally cry. I can't fact check the Zane. I'm so sorry. It's like so <laughs> yeah, look at the the pictures that were just popping up. Were I don't even want to see it if it's no. Can he get off? <laughs> no, we're going to move on. <laughs> well, I'm drinking, by the way. I'm going over and I'm drinking just to get Baby, rid of my hand. Hair of the dog. Hair of the greyhound. Hair of the... <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, hair of the groundhog that bitch ya. You don't know what hair of the dog is? No. Hair of the dog is like, like when you're... Freeze. You have a hangover and they, they just say hair of the dog like when you start drinking again to feel better. I think you used it perfectly. It says that it's predominantly used to refer to alcohol that is consumed with the aim of lessening the effects of a hangover. Very good. Oh, wow. I'm on baby, fire. We are getting smarter on this podcast. Put baby. me up against the fifth grade. Oh bitch, my I'm God. ready. And did anything else happen in Catalina? Uh, we met this girl, and her and her husband had just gotten married on Catalina Island. Oh, congrats, babies. Mm-hmm. And we were just talking about how fun Catalina was. And she was like, Yeah, my friend was in the bathroom, and her bathing suit top got flushed down the toilet. How? Like while she was using it. I guess it was one of those like automatic toilets and she leaned over to grab her bag and I don't know if there was like <laughs> like it was a certain like top that had like strength. yeah, like that was hanging. This is how we're picturing it. And it sucked up her top. <laughs> I li- that's straight up a it. scene in like well, a, that's what I said. Yeah. Bridesmaids. Like yes, how is that a, not a scene? I yet? know. It was so funny. But like if that happened in a movie, you'd be like, Oh, that's funny, but so unrealistic. You know what I mean? Like yeah. you'd be like, that doesn't happen, but like it's a funny concept. I think just but, like, the image it of it happened. flushing yeah. down is hilarious, and they're just like I oh know. my god yeah. yeah i have and nothing having to walk out and come out with like the content yeah, you have to yeah. like get paper towels yeah like, like that's funny that's R- some comedy so i funny. literally just equated it to a cartoon like we just saw her like we just see her like covering her bits and yeah. then just being like bing bing like with her <laughs> eyes like oh <laughs> oh that's hilarious and she was like one of like she was a uh, who was she was she just like someone you met or yeah we just yeah it was somebody we met on the island her friend that was all the excitement for Catalina. Well, I mean, that's a we lot were of only there for a day. So that's right. enough excitement for one day. We'll take right, right. Time, baby. Hey, yo, listen up. Before we get to back to the podcast episode, we got a couple sponsors. <laughs> yo, we got Hello Fresh up in this. We're trying something new. <laughs> uh, guys, this, this episode is brought to you by HelloFresh. As Hello you guys Fresh. know, HelloFresh is something we've talked about in the past before. It's one of my personal favorites. Personal I favorites. <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely love HelloFresh. If you guys don't know what HelloFresh is, HelloFresh is a delivery service that brings you pre-measured ingredients and mouth-watering seasonal recipes delivered right to your door. HelloFresh lets you skip those trips to the grocery store and makes home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. You can save 40% off by using HelloFresh versus shopping at your local grocery store, and it's more convenient too. HelloFresh's gourmet recipes like their balsamic fig sirloin are over 60% cheaper than an average meal out, so you can enjoy a restaurant-quality dinner for less. And over 90% of the ingredients are sourced directly from growers to ensure the freshest recipes are delivered right to your door. HelloFresh delivers pre-portioned ingredients so you're not overbuying, which is a burden on the planet 
and your wallet. By the way, you can easily change your delivery days or food preferences and skip a week whenever you need. And you know what HelloFresh likes to do, baby? What's that? Give back. That's right. HelloFresh is committed to making fresh, delicious food available now more than ever and has taken extra steps to keep its employees and customers safe, including contactless delivery, tamper-proof packaging, and team member wellness checks. So if you want to get $80 off your first order, go to HelloFresh.com slash 80 unfiltered and use code 80 unfiltered to get a total of $80 off your first month, including free shipping on your first box. Additional restrictions apply. Please visit HelloFresh.com for more details. That's right. Go to HelloFresh.com slash 80 unfiltered filtered and use code 80 unfiltered to get a total of $80 off your first month, including free shipping of your first box. Baby, that's $80. Why not just use our code and get $80 off, baby? But that's that's a lot food. of food. Exactly. Mm-hmm. It's and a it's lot good. of food. It is it's very good. Hello. Fresh. We also want to give a big thank you to Adam and Eve. Ooh, our first sex sponsor, baby. Ooh, I feel dirty. I know. I feel a little kinky. Adam and Eve says the best part of staying at home is playing at home with what baby you some sex toys I was saying. take advantage of the downtime and choose almost any item at 50 percent off when you do you'll also get 10 free boredom busting gifts including six spicy movies a three-piece bonus kit and a best of all free shipping delivered discreetly right to your front door and so baby, nobody know oh so nobody knows Back to you. I was going to say, and baby, you will be boredom busting. That's right. (laughs) And I like that. (laughs) Just remember to use offer code ZNH. That's ZNH at checkout. Adam and Eve has thousands of products to make you glad you are staying at home. Hell, even shopping from home is more enjoyable when you are shopping sex toys. I personally know a couple of my friends that bought um, dildos from Adam and Eve. Baby, don't put Kenny on blast like that. Stop. Oh, sorry, Kenny. We love you. Okay, well, uh, baby. We'll give you the camera, baby. How'd you like the dildos uh, from Psycho? Y'all from love Adam me and Eve. I love my Adam and Eve dildo. There baby. you go, baby. Yo, Adam and Eve, you better sponsor him. He's your biggest client. Baby, that's guys. why he's been staying in his room so much. <laughs> so, guys, go to adamandeve.com and use that offer code Z and H. That's Z A N D H. Adamandeve.com and use offer code Z and H and get almost. Any one item at 50% off. Have fun I, fucking with your toys. I got to go to the bathroom again. <laughs> <laughs> what, what can I talk about? What? Has uh, yeah, to I'm me sure this everybody week? listening uh-huh. has been waiting. They're like, Catalina. <laughs> Great hound dog. Let's go. Let's go. Move on. Move on. Okay. Tell me about Dre. Okay. 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 All right. I'll, I'll t- I'm going to tell you from the beginning to the end. I'm going to give you all the details. All right. So I was, this was when I was in Florida. So obviously I knew this was happening last podcast. I just uh-huh. couldn't talk about it because I signed a fat fucking NDA. But um, I was in Florida. That is big mouth. Because no. <laughs> <laughs> I signed a fat fucking NDA. But here we go. No, 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 it really was. No, it was a fat fucking NDA. It was like, but like, I get it. It was completely. Yeah, you made me read it. <laughs> Can you explain this to me? (laughs) I I was like, hey, Kenny, what can I talk about on the podcast? And he's like, yeah, it says here you really can't talk anything. You talk about anything. Like nothing. When it says you can't mention it. So no names. He's like, no, you just kind of wait until they release. I'm like, when are they going to release it? We're like, we don't know. I'm like, fuck, we want to talk about this right now. But um, so I was in Florida. And I was, this was like my fifth day there or my fourth day there. And I was planning on staying there for a week. And um, I got a call from uh, Jason. Jason's like, hey, King Bash has something really cool for you. Uh-huh. Um, I'll call him. So I called him. He's like, hey, what's up? He's like, hey, I, um, I want uh, – we're, we're doing this video where um, it's Justin Bieber – uh, and uh, we're his entourage. I was like, okay, that's sick, cool. And I, like, I, he never said what music video it was. And I was like, oh yeah, that's cool. What do you want to do it? And he's like, um, we're doing it Thursday. I was like, oh, I'm I'm not like I'm not gonna be home Thursday. Like I'm sorry, but like I, again, I didn't uh-huh. know the scale of it. I didn't know. Like he said, music video, but I thought it was like his music video. And I'm not saying one is more important than the other, but like, it. I was just gonna be home, so I was right. I, like, you know, I was with my family, whatever. And so I was like, I'll get back to you. And then um. And I thought this was like King Batch's music video. Wait, hold on. So that's why you came home early? Yeah. I thought, I thought you came back for Mariah's birthday. Me too. Which I wasn't even here for, though. <laughs> because I was at fucking, I was on set all day. Hold on. Hold on. What? No, 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 I was on you, set all day. No, I know you were on set all day. In my brain, when you said you were coming back early, I was like, oh, shit. Wow. he's that. I didn't know he cared like that. And then this just happened last minute with the no, whole no, video. No, wait. Hold on. Mariah's crying. Are you crying? Mariah. <laughs> what the? 
The first thing you said to me when you came back, you were like, look, I'm back for your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> and and that's I was like, oh my God, he really loves me. He really no, does. I do love, I do, no, I do love you and I wanted to be here for your birthday, but how do we know that's not a I'm lie not, too? Not saying, that is not a Zane lie. Goes, I'm not saying one is more important than the other. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I did go to the shoot the entire day. <laughs> Maybe I'll be back at, maybe I'll come over at night. You know what? I'm not going to say the story anymore. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> All you get her is a card. This is a happy birthday. You just sign it. <laughs> Signed by Justin Bieber. <laughs> Fuck. I'm oh, going to think about, I'm going to think about that all night. Actually, fuck, I was excited. No, I'll, I'll give this oh, to fuck. you. You did wish me a happy birthday while you were on set. So I texted you back and I was like, I can't believe you're on set and you actually texted me happy birthday. It's true. That was really Mariah sweet. So I'll take it. Mariah was watching my IG story of her saying happy birthday. She, <laughs> she, she, she thought it was going to be like Drake. <laughs> but it was just so funny. She knew I was at this shoot and like I just, right. her like her watch was probably like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, it's going to be Drake. The <laughs> second it turned, I was like. <laughs> 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 no, but you you know like like I feel like you and King Batch have hung out before. Yeah, oh, yeah we all you, went to like that Christmas party. Or yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah okay. Yeah. So that, that yeah. that's really funny. Happy okay. birthday, bitch! <laughs> happy, birth, happy birthday, bitch! Thank uh, you. Dad. So, um, so yeah, I, I didn't know it was. I thought it was like King Batch's music video. I was like, fuck, okay, I'm not gonna be able to make it. And then I was, I was, I was, uh, I asked him, hey, like, where's your song? Like, let me hear your song. And he sent the song. He's like, but this isn't for me. I was like, home. Oh, he calls me because like, we uh -huh. obviously it was a misunderstanding. I was like, wait a second, what are you talking about? He's like, dude, this isn't my music video. I was like, oh, whose music video? He's like, it's Drake's. I'm like, Drake? I'm there. I'm like, Drake, like Drake. Did Drake. I say I was busy? <laughs> I, no, I, was I like, think I misspoke. He's like, yeah, no, Drake. And like Justin Bieber's the pop star, where's Entourage? And I'm like, first of all, I'm like, why me? Like, why me? <laughs> you, you could have had anybody else. He's like, dude, no, like where's like we're gonna we're gonna be the comedic relief for the video. I was like, Oh my God, this is like, that's crazy. But like, I'm not going to be home until Saturday. He's like, oh, okay, well just let me know if you can make it. Right. I was like, okay. And I just told him I'd get, like give a couple hours. And like, I, so I was like, I was sitting there and I was like, fuck, I, like, I don't want to have to leave early. <laughs> but it's, Zane goes, well, I'm not going to be home. So Drake's going to have to rearrange something. He wants to <laughs> when, when, when he's talking about like, I'm going to be the comedic relief. I'm thinking about Zane just like having to tell a joke in between like takes. <laughs> like Drake's like, make me laugh. <laughs> Zane comes out like a jester or oh, something. Oh my god, like Maddie Long like, camera is just just no, entertaining no, no, people just on to, like, set. Make, oh shit. <laughs> well, that's hilarious. But um yeah, so I, I told my family about it and they were they 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 like I could not believe their reaction. They were like, get the fuck out of here. Are you serious? Like, yeah, but like it's Thursday and they're like Zane, go home, right? Go home right now. You have to you have to be in it. I was like, Are you sure? They're like, no, you Zane, we'll be pissed if you don't do it. I was like, fuck, you're right. Okay, no, I'm gonna regret if I don't go. All right, so I booked my flight. And I got there the night before and I felt so bad for leaving, but like, I knew I would regret it if I didn't, because I, yeah. I didn't know, like there's a, there was a chance like in my house, like there's a chance that like, I'm not in this video at all, but like, I, I gotta just take the chance yeah. just in case. So I flew in the, the night before it was like, the call time was like fucking 8 AM, which is so early. It was so <laughs> early for me. I was like, Oh my God, I'm not going to make it. We get there. We had to take her COVID test. I passed. I'm a negative. Congratulations. Could you I imagine passed all positive? this? You leave early, go to get this set. That's negative. Dude. And it's just like. Dude, a part of me was just like, it, my luck, my luck. Right. It would have showed up positive. Where, no, where's Zane going? <laughs> you passed. You passed, dude, dude, he would be King Bash would have felt so bad because he knew I like flew back early for it. But I like, know I was good. I passed. First test you've passed in a while. <laughs> First test I've passed in a while. <laughs> Um, <laughs> we, we get there. It took a long time for us to like, uh, for us to like get be on camera. Like we were, it was a lot of sitting around, but like, which is normal in music videos, you're sitting around yeah. all day and then you, you're in the shop for 10 hours. Yeah. For, it was, it was a long, <laughs> it was a long day, but, um, we, it was like multiple outfit changes. I felt very important. Like the Ooh. fact that I had four or five different outfit changes. I'm like, damn, this is like cool that like, I'm, you know, <laughs> he just changes his hat in between scenes. <laughs> <laughs> so it was a lot of, um. It was like at first it was like I was like the extra in the back at a party and so yeah. like it got to like and that was like first half of the day I was like in my head I was like oh my god I don't think I'm gonna be I think I'm an extra the whole time and in my head I was like oh <laughs> man this is gonna suck I flew back early for this and I'm gonna be an extra this is not good and I was like oh my god I feel like just bamboozled just like completely just it right, like right. threw me off but then but then finally we started to have like our shots where we were Justin Bieber's uh -huh. like entourage and that was really cool. Like in the music video, they did cut a lot of scenes out. 
that I was in, which is fine. But like, I, I just thought it was really Justin cool. Justin throws him the mic. <laughs> 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 I just thought it was really cool. Like even watching the music video, the shots I, I wasn't in, like knowing I was there was like really, it was still really cool. Um, but there was this one specific scene where it was a shot of Justin Bieber on his car with the two girls and it was painting back and it was like his entourage all in front. Uh -huh. the, like, yeah, I yeah, feel but... like you would have gone so excited for that because like you and fucking cars and just post it up like that. Cause I feel right, like right. you like posting shit like that. So I immediately like called Heath out. I'm like, dude, we just did this insane fucking scene where we're in all in front of our cars. <laughs> I was in front of a Urus. Like, there's, there's Lamborghinis and like, uh... I was in front of a Lamborghini Urus and I have one. So I thought that was like really fucking cool. That was just, people probably would have thought You should have been like, mine. oh, if you need another one, like I, I have mine. <laughs> it's a, yeah, it's in the but you know garage. what? They probably paid someone a lot of money to rent it. In my head, I was like, "Fuck!" If they just asked me, it, I, 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 I would have just rolled <laughs> right up. But the the color was like a candy blue, which yeah. was so sick. Yeah. And I was in front of it, so it was like so fucking cool. Like just the shot was really, really sick. And just like the whole the whole like experience was really was really cool. And um, and it was very fast. They were getting shit done quick. It was like no time wasted. Yeah. Boom, boom. Justin Bieber was incredible. He got on. Boom, boom, boom. Out. Like every shot. Like he was just very, very quick. Obviously, he's been doing this for a long time. But like just seeing this with my own eye, eyes, how quick everything it's was. Very impressive. And like the director, Director X, he directed the Hotline Bling music video for Drake, oh, which I thought sick. was so fucking sick. Mm -hmm. He so he directed the whole thing. So he was like running the show. He was like, there's moments where he was getting really stressed out and blah blah. Like, but shit was getting done quick. And like, it, like I like I've always loved being behind the camera and like like I want to always like direct shit. So like seeing him and his like just in his like mode. It was I couldn't really... imagine that pressure. Like knowing you, you're filming the yeah. Drake music video. Justin Bieber, Bieber is like the star of it. Yeah. Like just that that weight on your shoulders, like knowing you can't fuck up. It's got it's got to be right. perfect for them. Yeah. yeah. And exactly. you were you, you ended up so behind the stressful. camera. And I ended up that, that was like that was the coolest fucking shot. They were like saying we're gonna have you like behind the camera. It's like oh my god, you want me behind the camera? I was like because I honestly like I didn't want to be that in the front over there because I feel like I would have fucked up. Like I wouldn't have looked <laughs> natural like the other dudes because mm -hmm. they're all like athletic. They know how to move. They look really good just moving. But me, I was like I need to sit in a chair. Like I, like I'm not gonna. <laughs> <laughs> so they had me sitting behind the shot and this 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 part is so crazy because they um there was i thought me in front of the camera me behind the camera uh -huh. i thought that like me on that camera was just solely for the shot right 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 because i was like i was pointing the camera at justin but i wasn't really paying attention to the shot and after two times uh the dir director goes hey zane you need to stay on in the middle of Justin. I was like, oh, okay. I, I honestly just thought it was like the shot. He's like, no, no, Zane, we're using the shot. I was like, oh, oh you're using oh, the shot. Oh That's my gosh. I was like, oh my, I was like, I was like, Oh, like I, I didn't even ask questions. I'm like, oh my fuck. Okay. And that's why I was like, guys, guys, <laughs> guys, here we go. So we're like, he just starts like the, the director goes, Oh no, we've seen all the TikToks you filmed. It's really <laughs> impressive stuff. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, because in the first shots when I was like I was like I was like smiling, I was like I was bopping. It was, I was almost like, like it was a prop. Yeah, but now it was like not because you saw how serious I looked. I was yeah. like really focused on the shot. That's why, I like, and it sucks that I, I didn't look like I was like having fun or was yeah, like, yeah, but you know, were in your element, like, yeah, that's what you want to do anyway. Exactly. So, yeah, like, kind of cool. And he was so they... specific about it. He's like, You see that the, the red, it was, it, it reminded me of just like me. It, it reminded me of me. He was like, yeah. You see the red on the sides? No red, no red. I feel like that, I'd say the same thing oh as someone gosh. who's like, No red on the sides. It needs to be in the middle, perfect. <laughs> I can't believe you were part of <clears throat> producing the video. I, can't I know, you I was like, filmed Drake's music. Yeah. I know, I was like, I, I, I talked about it, like, Batch, does this mean I like get like, am I? Videog videographers, so and so, and a little bit of Zane. Yeah, I'm like sweating thinking about it because I was. It was just such a like. That is cool. That, like that, I think me behind that camera was so fucking exciting. Zane. And it was. It was really cool and like knowing that that what I filmed was gonna be in the music video that in a sick. Drake music video with Justin Bieber and I was like, what the fuck is going on? But by the way, I don't know why they fucking asked me to be in the music video. I was like, you never you, got you, that answer. You could have hit up David. Like David would have. <laughs> yeah, 100%. but picture. But David looks like. A kid, like I was I know, looking at. I, I was looking at the other people that you were on in the entourage yeah, with, yeah. and it, I feel like you might have been typecasted. And they were like, "Do you have like a funny, cool friend that's like kind of Mediterranean looking? You know what I yeah. mean?" Oh my, are you saying? I was Middle Eastern? What do you call it? Ooh, yeah, typecast? you could have been typecast. Oh you were direct booked. Oh my! Direct booked, and I filmed some of the. <laughs> 
Shit, put, yo. Zane, put you, that just, on you just get up. You're like, okay, I'm moving on. <laughs> I'm out of here. I don't Thank need this you. shit. I don't need this podcast. It was really nice, guys. We had a good run. Yeah, it was. No, it was. It was so fucking cool, and um, everybody was so sweet. Like the people, like the hair people, the outfit people. They're all so fucking nice. Yeah. And I think overall experience was like, because you you th- you would think in a big shoot like that like everybody's like kind of like mean and like kind of like you know straightforward like just yelling yeah all i feel that. like that shit like a lot of people are on edge like every because yeah. like it's so like everything's in such a timely yeah. manner where mm-hmm. people are like just meticulous just very specific out, and like, like about get, everything yeah, which i perfect. expected so like that i was very nervous because right. i just expected people just to be yelling at me all day but like it was a complete opposite Everybody was so fucking sweet, and Justin Bieber That's was cool. great, and like everybody was. The director was really nice. Did you nice. guys talk? You hu- you hung out? Um, yeah. I mean, there were times we hung out, but like, I, you know, I, just, I don't want to bother him too, and which which is really weird with his music video because I was too scared to let too much of myself out because it's Justin Bieber's music video, not mine. It's Drake's <laughs> music video, not mine. So yeah. like, I felt like I was like, I don't know. I wanted to like be myself and be more outgoing, but. I don't know. But Justin also, Bieber, like, there's moments where Justin Bieber wasn't talking too much. So, and I like, there's moments where I felt like, like I'm, I'm, I'm doing too much, and like he's the star, not me. So like I felt like kind of like he said, yeah. I'm an bit. extra. They don't want me to be extra. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right. Exactly. But we've also seen stuff where we've like called stuff out, like people in the background that are so overacting, where it like makes it feel just like exactly. Like funny, like, like they're trying to pull focus. In the background, you're just like, baby, it's not your movie. Like exactly, yeah. And I feel like we, uh, like the four of us, we whenever we see someone like that in a video, we're just like, oh, that's too much. I, I, I was thinking about that. I was like, I don't want to be that person. Right, yeah. right. But it, I it ended up everybody was doing, uh, was going so hard, and I was like not going as hard. But like I should have like thought about that. Everybody was going so hard. <laughs> <laughs> I was not as hard, but I was trying to get there. And um and like another like the only part I didn't like about this, which is fine, like I'm not pissed about it. But like I we were told like I was told that we were like the comedic relief, but it ended up being like we were just like you know posted up like swag. I'm really bad at like flex like, being cool. This character of like being Baby, cool, you swaggy? being swaggy, being like. Like having like having flex, being like you know just like chilling. I'm really bad at that. So that ended up being the whole video. So there's a, I feel like there's a lot of awkward moments where you see me like trying to be like I'm just not. You think good it's at that. awkward because you know how you are. Yeah. But people right. who are just watching it like you look fine. Yeah. You're natural. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah, I, I always like in my head I'm like Zane, don't be like don't be like nervous. Just fucking just be yourself. And then when I get there, I'm like. Like yeah, I just, I just completely they, they, they release a behind the scenes video. It's just you doing a bunch of TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to do it. I wanted to do TikTok dances so bad, but like in my head, like I just feel like people wouldn't find that funny at all. So I like I just I, like I just didn't do anything. Yeah, better like better safe than sorry. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. I didn't want to be like the cringe person in the fucking music video. It sounds like music videos are like your new thing. I think you're. I think you're. Does one? It's not like it's nothing. It's nothing, nothing crazy. crazy. It's you know? MBD. Yeah. You know. <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean, I better give you NDAs if I'm going to talk about NBD, <laughs> you know, I'm doing a little music video next week. Zane. <laughs> oh, yeah. What it's is just, happening? It's just snowballing now. It is. But it, it, the thing is that this is not an original piece. This is a cover. Okay. For a specific song that just came out. You mm-hmm. probably can guess what it already is. I'm not going to say it, but you can probably guess what the fucking song is going to be. I know but, what it is. Baby, it's like a nice little cover. And it's going to be, that's going to be my first YouTube back. My first YouTube video back after five months. It's, wait, it's going on your channel? Yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. So y'all bitches motherfucking get rid. Okay. I had to re-say that three times. <laughs> so y'all, so y'all, y'all bitches motherfucking get ready. <laughs> <laughs> so y'all motherfucking bitches. Which you guys are going to be in. Everybody's going to be in. I'm really excited for it. This is like nothing I've ever Kenny. Heard from. <laughs> I just. I'm so that's why I asked you. What were you doing? Uh, what were you like? I, that's why I asked if you were free a certain night. <laughs> oh, okay. So yeah, I got the job. <laughs> oh, did I not tell you? Like after I asked you that, I never like. Wait, I wasn't told either. He goes. What are you guys doing next week? Oh, I don't know nothing. Okay, good. <laughs> I always yeah. assume I always assume that you guys are like next to him when I call him on FaceTime. So like every time I talk to him, if there's anything, I always assume that you guys are right next to him. You guys don't have the same brain. <laughs> you guys aren't Siamese twins. <laughs> so you, you, you don't tell him every time every time we talk about something. That's what we do. I feel like we, we always tell each other everything. Yeah, because you about gossip anything. queen. I'm not a gossip queen. I, I'm talking about like. Like when we we're doing something, you know, business wise, I feel like we always always like time? let each other know. <laughs> yeah, this is why I don't say anything. He goes, "What are you doing next week?" Oh, all right, cool. You doing anything like Monday or Tuesday? I was like, I don't know. He goes, "I right, I might uh, I might film a music video." I was like, "Okay, let me know what time, where, like what the details are. Like, I I think I'm uh, I should be good." Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll let you know. 
<laughs> Yo, you, what? You guys don't know about the shoot <laughs> at 2 p.m. downtown at the whatever <laughs> hotel. So I, would this town. I would never do that to like, you guys. I would never. No, do but this is like it, it'll be like a, a a brief little explanation, and then just like. How don't no, you know why? every because single detail? I don't, I don't like getting too much into detail of whenever I'm doing anything of mine or music or whatever. I always well, like, this oh, is I'm kind of important. No. <laughs> he like feels bad asking, but like we need to be there. I don't know, but if you want... Gets pissed at us for not being there. <laughs> Guys, the call time was 9 a.m. What are you talking about? Wait, what time is this? What time is it happening? I actually uh, need to know. I always feel weird about shit like that. Like I was telling Matt like... That whole day while we were shooting, I felt like I I didn't belong there. Like I felt like an imposter. Like is that weird? Is that like happen a lot with people? It's like yeah, it's called imposter syndrome. Like and a lot of people have it, especially people that are like are like you know have like a, a following or on, oh, like, yeah. and a lot of shit. They ha it's imposter syndrome where weird. they feel like they don't belong there, and that's how I felt the entire day. I'm like this this is not my like spot. you felt like you weren't good enough or everything. Yeah, I felt like I didn't deserve you just this. Felt I didn't weird, belong there. Like I this shit this this was this, this, this spot was supposed to be for David, not me. Why do I feel like this was supposed oh, to be for David weird. and he didn't take it, so it was for me? Like it's like I just felt like I wasn't supposed to be there, and that that wasn't my like time i don't know i didn't know there was like terminology behind that i've definitely felt that before booking a job and yeah. i'm just like i was I mean, not yeah. the best person at that audition at yeah. all but like, like how am i here yeah like when, yeah. when when we had our uh our pilot episode yeah. <laughs> that was that, was that is the definition of dude, imposter syndrome dude <laughs> <laughs> you know who i just saw it, uh today uh josh leva he came over he's like oh, oh my really God, last i saw you cool, was cool. at that pilot he's like oh my god dude that fucking pilot i know did you feel like an imposter too <laughs> like, yeah but yeah as soon as i saw i was like oh my god that like brought me right back to that That's day so when we were funny. filming that yeah um sorry i have to pee so bad i've been holding it in for the in last in this like, economy in the middle of I really, this episode i really, I really do i really do sorry go, guys go. you got um, brp can you bring that mic with you in the bathroom <laughs> <laughs> Woo! All right, sorry about that little uh, <laughs> little break right there. He needed to take a little potty break, and so we needed to take a little fill up with tequila break. So, yeah. um, oh my God, hold on. Speaking of oh, pee fun. breaks, real quick. Okay, okay. Kenny, our pee break in Catalina. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Tell me. The urinals were no joke six inches from each other. Like it was like. <laughs> We were like shoulder to shoulder, like we had to like open up to each other to both. It was like it was uncomfortably co close. I wasn't uncomfortable at all. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny, uh, Kenny was probably like, you know what? Since I'm here, <laughs> well, no, I cock. <laughs> it was one of those things where, like, I walked in and, like, I thought it. I was like, Jesus Christ. Okay, well, this is these are the closest urinals I've ever seen in my life. And then, like, we like get down to it, and then you go. Shoulder to shoulder, huh? And I'm like, <laughs> I didn't know what to say. I, I wish you didn't say anything because I go, I can't pee now. It's nothing's <laughs> happening now. Oh, come but, on, pee, pee. When I, I don't understand get, stage fright. I don't, I don't either. And I, it's not like I'm like scared of like, I just can't. No, it's I get just it. this. I thing. get no, it's a yeah. mental thing. Like, literally, I, I knew I was like, I was like, oh, these are close, but like, I'm just gonna start peeing. And then you go, shoulder to shoulder, huh? And I go, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to Thrive Market. A few weeks ago, I actually became a Thrive Market member, and I got all my sustainable organic ingredients right to my front door, baby. It was great. Thrive Market tailors to over 70 different diets and values like paleo, keto, plant-based, delivering the highest quality organic and sustainable essentials from groceries, healthy snacks, meat and seafood, clean wines, non-toxic cleaning, and bath and body. So as a member, I'm actually saving 25 to 50% off, which is nuts. And their carbon neutral shipping is free on orders over $49. In addition to membership matching, Thrive Market has raised over $750,000 to date through their COVID-19 relief fund. That's, that's incredible, Impressive. actually. Wow. So go to thrivemarket.com slash unfiltered. Join today and you'll get a free gift of your choosing up to $22 in value. That's T-H-R-I-V-E market.com slash unfiltered to start your risk-free membership and get a free gift today. That's thrivemarket.com slash unfiltered. Because if you won't do it, I will. And he's getting it shipped to his door not yours baby Todd and I were on a boat yesterday I saw and um it was a, it was uh Vince Jeff's friends uh he got like they rented out like a yacht it was big it was beautiful I didn't get invited to the boat oh but it's like a friend of a friend it's like we couldn't bring in any extra people I'm giving you a hard time. I know but I wanted to explain why I couldn't invite my you know I like boats I know I, big boats and I've, I haven't been out like in a long time I was like you know I want to do it I want right, to right, right. go on a big boat and drink so 
So we got on the boat. We didn't like know anybody on the boat and like Jeff backed out last minute. So it's like, fuck, like we, we just didn't know like really anybody on this boat. It was just me and Todd. At one point we thought we were hopping on the wrong fucking boat. We're like, are we on the right boat? And I was like moving. We're like, w- w- what do we do? It's like, That'd be yo, really is this awkward. Vince's boat? And there, a couple of was like, no, this is Dylan's. We're like, oh my god. The but, it, but it ended up being, right, right. ended up being on the right boat. <laughs> but um, so the the song just came out. So people kept on rep- like playing the song over and over again. And Todd wanted to so bad say, you know, what I'm like he, he was he was starting to say, I'm like, Todd, shut the fuck up. Like I don't please don't say it. Like I, I don't want like right. I I hate I don't like attention like that. You didn't want a showboat. Oh, is, that, come on. is that what it's called? Come on. Is that what it's oh. called, showboat? Yeah, like bragging. Bad situation like showboating, is, like uh, showboating is bragging. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I didn't know that. That was good, Kenny. That was good. I Mariah. know. That's why. I oh, laughed. I thought you were like, oh, that wasn't good. I didn't know what I it thought meant. I heard that. Oh, I thought it was good. Thank you. That was very good. Um, it gets cut out. And, and, and Todd <laughs> immediately. <laughs> Todd, Todd kept wanting. I'm like, no, 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 please. Like, I, it's like, fuck, I'm fine, okay. But it was really funny because people kept replaying and they were like, well, and one girl. Played and she's like, guys, have you seen the music video for it? And uh, I look, me and not. Todd, me and Todd, we looked at each other and we were like, it's time. It's time. I was in the music video. No, no. <laughs> no. She he was like, it. no. I was like, yeah. I was like, Todd, that's when I'm allowed to come in and say something. <laughs> it was, that's it was, perfect. it was crazy. Like, it was almost like Todd told this girl to yeah. say it. I'm literally thinking about SpongeBob where he's like, there I am, there I am. <laughs> when he was in the commercial, like, <laughs> oh, yeah. that's my brain. But it, it was am. really, it was really perfect. It was like, it couldn't have been perfect the way like she asked me. And it was right. like, me and Todd you try, you that, sh- like, <laughs> looking at each other, we're just like, in for the kill. You try Boom. to pretend like it's not a big deal. You're like, oh yeah, I was in the. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, Gaga. Yeah, you did really good at the VMAs, girl. <laughs> girl. Girly. Girl, oh, yeah. Ar- Ari, is that you? Oh my god, you were so good at the VMAs. <laughs> yeah. yeah tell, Ari, you and Gaga killed it. Tell Gag I said hi. Okay, cool. <laughs> Gag. All right. <laughs> Five seconds later, I accidentally burped really nastily right in front of her face, and she was just like, "Oh my god, what's that smell?" I was like, "I'm sorry, I burped." She's like, Jesus. And she like kind of she kind of walked away and it was like really weird. I was like, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to burp in your face. She's like, no, it's fine. It's fine. But like, we didn't talk to each other for the rest of the day. I think that really just like, you go, that's weird. Everything. Drake thought it was hilarious when I did it. She goes, oh my God, I thought it was hilarious too. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to add that. And I just thought it was really funny. But yeah, we were on a yacht the whole day. We were listening to, uh, I keep saying WAP. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Probably played WAP a few times too though. Yeah. As you should. As I should. Mm-hmm. As I will continue to do so. So damn, that's so sick though. Thank you, man. Jealous that means a lot. <laughs> that, means, that means a lot, bro. I just hope I win like a VMA for or something. Like, you know, just... Do you think JB would be like in my video? <laughs> he thanks you in his acceptance speech. <laughs> that would be cool. Is that something that like he'll do for me? You know, like I scratch your back, you scratch mine. Was I, that your first time meeting him? No, that's not my first time meeting. I've met him before. I just don't think I don't know if he remembered me or not. I met him. We we were just out at like some nightclub, and it was with David. So like David and Justin right. were friends. Like he introduced me introduced me to him, and I said, "Hey, what's up?" Blah blah blah. But I don't think he remembered me from that night because I feel like he would have. How could he forget you now, though? There's no way. <laughs> I'm a pop star, entourage baby. I'll be every anytime he sees me, I'm like, "Yo, what's up, man?" I'll be like, "Pop star, entourage," and he'd be like, "Oh shit." <laughs> oh my god, you were the guy what's that up, didn't man? talk the entire you, day. Oh, oh, you were the one that we like cut all the scenes out. He <laughs> he forget. He you were the really sweaty guy. In the Dude, world. I was so fuck. It was so fucking hot. Oh my god! Like, dude, I was because I was like dancing with this girl, and like she was like a really pretty girl, and we we're like dancing, and I'm just like, I'm sorry, because I just looked greasy. Yeah, you man. were so worried because you had there was like a pool scene. Yeah, and you were worried oh, yeah. about there that. Was a, like I was telling, like I was having Mariah and Kenny help me. I was like, what do I do? There's a pool scene. I don't want them. <laughs> I don't want to have my shirt off, and I'm in the pool. Like, fucking, I, I just didn't want to do it. And but like I ended, I ended up actually being in the pool scene, but I had all my clothes. They on give you a purposely. good three second shot of yeah. you in that the tube. That car scene, thank God they put that in there because if that no, was, the tube if it wasn't scene. for that, then it wouldn't have been. Most anything. people recognize the car scene though. It was a car scene that people everybody recognized. Oh, it was such a hot day, and that water was like lukewarm. It was perfect, Ooh. and it, like me and the two, because nobody wanted to get in the pool. All the girls, you know, they just got their makeup done and hair done. They're like, no, we don't want to go in the pool, and they know once they're in the pool, they're done for the day because, but. We we all did it. We're like fuck, you, you know. I I wanted to like I wanted to just be a sport because they wanted a guy in the pool. So I was like, I'll do it. I don't fucking care. I'll do it. And I so I got in, and it was the best decision we've made because it it was like, it felt so good being in that pool after a long day of just uh-huh. heat. And all both the girls I was with, they were just like, veggie fishes are fucking jealous that we're in here because it was actually the cool, like the best part. We were making <laughs> jokes that they were gonna make you tuck your shirt in, and if they were, they're like, we want Zane in the pool scene, but Zane, can you can you put this on and like. <laughs> 
tuck it in and like <laughs> they kept asking me it was so you would have died they kept asking me to take my clothes off and i was like no no no, no. I, it would be so funny if i had them all my clothes on oh, so, you told them that I, I kept telling them that oh, i had all my no. clothes on and the, i was like it, no it's funny it's like in the moment i jumped in like with my clothes on you don't want me in my bathing suit that makes no sense then it looks like I and they're like for it and they're like yeah you're right yeah yeah we'll keep you there also, goes, like as the token it director videographer mm -hmm. Extra? I, I ran that shit, baby. Fuck Director X, baby. I ran that shit. As the shit. only qualified person as the comedic relief, I'm going to keep my clothes on. <laughs> <laughs> I know comedy. Exactly. I know comedy. I'm, I'm going in with my socks on. That's comedy. I'm going to slip on, my, on a banana peel and then fall into the pool fully clothed. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what's so weird? I just thought about this. What's really weird? There were bananas on set. <laughs> I guess there's this like whole thing during music videos where you know every girl wants her, her moment like they want to be on camera you know it's like a thing mm -hmm. I guess like every music video right there's, I think um, I think that director That's or whoever's running being... it they, no, they they try to give everybody a moment to shine I think that like how when, when it comes to like extras and uh -huh. girls yeah, on you'd set be surprised. so there's this one beautiful girl that was just never on camera was never in any scene and she's beautiful and they finally gave her a moment where, but she was like, the, it was like product shot. You know how they have product shot in mm -hmm. music videos, but it never made in the music video. Really? <sighs> yeah, it was never in there. So her moment, like it, it, that was her moment. Like you really saw her. It was like a good three second shot of just her. And it was like, it looked great, Interesting. but it never went in. It was for her coffee. <laughs> oh, speaking of coffee, Kenny just tried ours. I for did. The first time. Why didn't you call me or text me or tell me? I wanted to video you trying it, but I didn't want to like, Put you on camera to think like you had to like act like it right. was better. I mean, you didn't want me to have an orgasm on camera, so right. <laughs> so make um, only fans. But how he, would you he, feel he tried our. No, I, I love. Don't, I want to say the flavor so bad. Can don't, I say? No. No. Don't say the flavor. Say no, what no, are you, okay, really okay. lunatic? <laughs> you um, fucking nuts. But yeah, he he tried it. I love it. It's good, right? Like, it, it, not saying just because it's our coffee, but it's actually fucking. Good. No, I liked it a lot. I really liked it a lot. Cause my thing with flavors is that a lot Careful. of them. I know. <laughs> Tread lightly. <laughs> My thing with flavored coffees is that I am very uh, like attuned to aftertaste. Right. Mm -hmm. Like it, it turns me off immediately when there's an aftertaste to a flavored coffee. Yeah. And there was no aftertaste. It was just it was smooth. It was. And I don't even that like. Feels so good. I don't even You're like not lying, right? Like no, no, no. I don't even like hot coffee. And this was served hot. And. It was really good. I really liked it that makes a lot. You so happy. Yeah. Oh my fucking. That's awesome. No, no, I love hearing like feedback, feedback like that. And if it's like not good, you gotta let us know. And you know? the yeah. reason I knew he actually genuinely liked it, cause like he tried it in the kitchen mm -hmm. and was like, wow, no, this is actually. You like saw it behind the wall. You're just like looking at his face. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, no, he tried it and like he was like, no, this is actually incredible. Like I really like it. And then time went on. We went. To the game room whatever we were hanging out and like he kept drinking it and he i kept muttering under my breath I'm like, so good it's Fuck. getting close baby well it's awesome yeah no guys it's getting it's really 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 we've close. been saying <laughs> <laughs> no i know i know but we can't just we can't push out when it's not ready but it's like finally finally getting ready you know it's finally it's there. being ready yeah so many people were asking about that in the call-in thing by the way oh speaking of <gasps> oh, we oh gotta do that. we gotta do that oh my god we're about to end this podcast without Going into that, right, right, we gotta right. go in, honey. Let's get right to it. Let's uh, cut everything out. Cut every. <laughs> Mariah now. has Mariah had this heartfelt story that she was ready to say. <laughs> cut it, cut it. We gotta cut do it. Call no, ins. we don't have time. <laughs> don't even save it for next week. <laughs> yeah, Kara Baskins on Dance with the Stars. Yada yada. <laughs> 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 All right, let's do this. Fuck it. All right, let's get to the call. You guys, right, guys. are you guys are the important ones for this podcast, baby. We gonna mm -hmm. give the mic to you guys. Um, so guys, yeah, just as a recap, if you guys weren't here for the last episode, we're doing call in questions. Uh, we will put the link for the number in our description or bio, and it's gonna be right this time, right? Oh my god! <laughs> Fuck off! Oh we, no! We mistakenly put the wrong number in the YouTube bio. I feel this bad. Lady. There was so, yeah a lady that was like, "This isn't Dana. No, this is Patrick." <laughs> <laughs> like this lady changed her phone number, her voicemail to "This is not Zane and he's a podcast." She, so she changes her I number. So she bad. moved to a different country. She oh my We're god! If That's it's not awful. one thing, it's the other with us. I but know. dude, I yeah. swear to God, because you copied and pasted the number on both on both things, you didn't like you copied and pasted it. You didn't like change the numbers. I saw you do it. 
I don't, I don't know how it. that happened. Spooky. Uh, but these are some of the ones we got the previous week. So Kenny is going to ask us live on the episode right now. <laughs> the first one's just like, you guys fucking suck. <laughs> Fuck off. All right. Thanks for calling. <laughs> <laughs> All, All right. Let's get started, babe. It's, it's Colin Coffee Talk, baby. Hi. My name is Michaela, and I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. Hey, and my question is for Heath. So I've noticed you've really upped your Instagram game lately. So I was wondering if you could tell us a little bit about how you got into it, what camera you use, and how you edit your pictures. Love you guys. Oh, thank you, Michaela. Well, the floor is yours, baby. Maybe real recognized, real. That's right. <laughs> uh, I appreciate that. Um, yeah, so I got a new camera. I shoot with a Fujifilm X100V. Mm -hmm. uh, I really enjoy it. It's kind of got like a uh, automatic... I guess filter type thing that you could put yeah. on it. Like you can like select what vintage film look you want. Um, so I kind of base it off of that. And I don't know. I just kind of been enjoying taking pictures of everything. Like, yeah, I don't know. I've always enjoyed photography, but now I'm just like, I used to be worried about like what I posted on Instagram. I was just like, fuck, I know. Now it's just like, well. who cares? Just fucking post whatever you like. I don't fucking care. Like, yeah. <laughs> and you shouldn't, you should Instagram is supposed to be like very authentic and natural and what right. you want to post and not like, it's so post. bizarre. Like my favorite picture I've ever taken in my entire life has done the worst on Instagram ever, but it's like, you love it. So but it's my favorite picture yeah. I've ever taken. It, it, yeah. It's fine. Who cares? Whatever. Um, but that was a recent one that you posted that yeah, you Yeah. Really the one liked. from Catalina. Yeah. And I mean, that was a good one. What if that's, the, that's the picture that made her call in? She's like this Instagram. Is really <laughs> good. You never know. But like that, that picture really made me happy. And when I saw it, I was just like, holy shit. Like, that's so cool. Like yeah. I got really happy about it. Um, so yeah, so I use that and then, um, I, uh, I edit on Lightroom. I have a okay. couple presets I, I'll select through, but mm. most of the time, like that one I edited myself. I don't really use presets too often unless it's a story that I want to like throw a filter on. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I just kind of, you're really good though at making it seem very consistent. Like I know, I know you don't use the same things every single time, but it all right. looks so cohesive, which I feel like is very like appealing to people. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. It's kind of got like a little vintage look. Yeah, I just use the settings on Instagram. I put brightness. <laughs> up. He, he uses lo-fi. <laughs> brightness and sharpen. What's the Valencia? <laughs> Kelvin. Do you remember that one? That just yes. made everything look orange. Oh, my gosh. oh yeah. Is that still a thing? That, yeah. I think no, so. no, it's not. It's not there anymore. They oh, must really? have taken that away. Yeah. There's no Kelvin and all that shit anymore. Comment down below if you were around when Kelvin was around. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna name my I'm gonna name my boy the Kelvin, Kelvin. my son Kelvin. Kelvin. <laughs> the lost Instagram filter. <laughs> All right, let's see what else we got. Hi, my name's Rebecca. I'm from uh, Chattanooga, Tennessee. Oh, and Chattanooga. I want to know from Zane, what is the secret to TikTok stardom? I'm trying to blow up, baby, and you just get millions and millions upon millions of likes. I want to know the secret. Love you guys. What was your name again? I missed that. Rebecca. It was Rebecca. 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 Hi, Rebecca. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a good Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, whatever day it is, morning. Are you having a good day? Morning. But to answer that question, I knew exactly the answer as soon as you said that. Um, TikTok has this crazy algorithm which benefits literally anybody that downloads the app and makes an account is that anytime you make a TikTok, your TikTok is on people's For You page. It doesn't matter who you are, how many followers you have. When you post a TikTok with zero followers, your TikTok is is on people's for you page. So I think the only, just, I feel like the only way to get your TikTok seen by more and more people is just to create something that's, I feel like relatable to anybody like, or like, right. Some, um, use like a popular song, a popular trend. I always like, I love to go to trends whenever, like I want to post something. I just see what's trending and I try to do the trend and try to spin it in, in like a, in a natural way, something I would do or like something original and, and that's it. I heard that um, you're more likely to take the next couple steps in the For You page mm -hmm. if your video is watched um, all the way through. It makes sense because YouTube is like that. I feel like everything's right, like that. right. Even Instagram, if like Instagram, your picture is getting liked more than usual, I feel like they like push that shit up to the so top. So maybe on the screen, right? Watch till the end, because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that shit gets me every time. Yeah, I feel like people love story times. If you have like something really crazy that happened to you, I feel like story time videos. People love watching like TikToks like that. Um, and you know what, baby, just just watch me and Mariah's TikToks, and you'll know what to do. Yeah, you could have asked me that question. <laughs> also, Chattanooga right is amazing. Yeah, Ch Chattanooga. Love. Have Chattanooga. I been? Have I been to Chattanooga? I don't even know. No. No. <laughs> That's so random. Mariah. 
Have I been to Chattanooga? <laughs> <laughs> Kenny, look this up. Have I been to Chattanooga? <laughs> Oh, Kenny fact, check fact checks everything. <laughs> yeah, but to answer your question, um, your 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 TikToks are will always be seen by people because it's always on the for you page. So I guess whatever you do, just make sure it's like be I consistent. Love it. You guys will be like, my shit didn't hit for you page, and I'm just <laughs> like you're sitting there saying everything hits for you, but maybe your shit just didn't do good. <laughs> It or me and Ryan always like, oh, they weren't, know. they weren't in the hit. office today. It just didn't hit for right. your page. Oh, TikTok must be down. Yeah, yeah, they're just, they're, not, they're not in the <laughs> office. Oh shit! Sure. It's just funny because we constantly make jokes because Zane goes, oh god, I I should I literally need to be a TikTok consultant. Like, <laughs> I know, just make yeah. jokes about like, oh, god, you want me to make you business cards? Zane Hijazi, TikTok consultant. You can just <laughs> hand it out to people. You at Drake's music video. Hey, Zane Hijazi, TikTok consultant. <laughs> Hi, Zane Hijazi, TikTok <laughs> the consultant. The way I was dressed, it would have made sense that I was going around with the cards like. That. All right, let's hear from our last caller of the episode. Ah, uh, babies! Okay, so my name is Olivia, and I'm calling from a cornfield, literally. I'm <laughs> from Ohio. Uh-huh. Um, my question is for everyone, really. Um, who do you make your content for? Are you making it for yourself? Are you making it for other people, the fans? Just let me know, because I find it really interesting Personally, I like to look back on my Instagram more as like a diary type situation. So your content, for you or for the fam? Let me know. That's wow, good Olivia, good I love question. That question. I really like that. Zane said, can I, I make no content, so I make it for nobody. <laughs> can, I, can, I, can I start? Can I yeah, like, go ahead. Yeah. Okay, so um, I feel like when I first started making YouTube videos, it was for, more for myself. Right. I, I was like, you know, I want to film more. I feel like I want to record my friends doing funny shit. It was really exciting to it, it yeah, made yeah. me feel happy recording in the beginning all of us and posting it it made yep. me feel good it was like this is my diary after doing it for two three years it started i it started feeling like oh my god i i like like all the viewers are now my boss it's like right, i right, right. oh uh, my god i gotta make content for everybody watching it needs to be perfect if it's not perfect if it's a shitty video i can't post it anymore so like it started as something that was very authentic mm-hmm. and very me and like a, a diary and it turned into a job do you think that that's why you haven't posted so much? A hundred percent. I like, I, again, I could pull out my camera and just record whatever, but right. I don't want to post whatever. But it's the thing like, is, is like, I, like, I always feel like that is that you've like set the standard for yourself with that 200th vlog <laughs> because baby that was immaculate. But like you, you can't, I feel like you can't always strive for perfection. Like people don't, people don't expect you to be perfect. I know. So and, you, I, and I think just being, being friends with like, People like David, who's like put so much work in their content and they put so much time into it. I think it's you always compare yourself to them. And you know, I'm not saying like, I'm not saying I'm like, oh, David is better than mine. It's just I feel like David is setting such a high standard for our whole group. So I need to try to meet that because I don't want to embarrass us. It's it's weird. Interesting. It's like, yeah, I totally get what you're saying. Like I felt that way a long time for like my type of content. Like, yeah. well, especially Instagram. Like it used to be like. I'm not going to post this picture. I'm not going to post this picture. I'm going to post this because I know it's going to do well. And I know it's what people want and are expecting. Yeah. And I would post it because that's just what I knew would do well. Yeah. Um, but now for the last few months, I don't give a fuck. Like, I, like the picture that I posted, like I was saying earlier, like I just, that's where I'm trying to get to. Right. It's like not giving a fuck. You're just putting out what you're proud of. It's right, like you with right. your videos, like yeah. you want to feel proud of it. And of yeah. course, like you want, other people to like your content and it's for them and like they're the reason you are what you are but you still want to be proud of yourself right it's with yeah. any job yeah exactly. ever like you so, want to be proud of what you're putting out that's yeah. exactly right like even like i haven't been posting as much on youtube anymore because like not that i'm not proud of my last videos it's just like they felt like work i mean everything has always felt like work but it, it hasn't been a fun work yeah like i i enjoy working zane enjoys working yeah but when not that there's a pressure behind it, it's just like, why aren't you posting? We need, we need, we give me like, where, why not? Yeah. I guess with music, like people, like they're not inspired. Like I feel like Zane and I need like that, that in, inspiration again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but like when I do post, like I, I'm excited about what I filmed and it like took me a while to get there, but like then it's, 
Yes. But I feel like, yeah, I mean, I honestly feel like you've gotten back to this sort of state of mind that you did when you were originally, because I met you when you guys were coming up it's on the passion. Vine. Yeah. Yeah. And you guys weren't making your content for anyone but yourselves. Right. It's what yeah. you guys thought was funny. And like to Mariah's point, it's like people feel passionately about what other people are passionate about. Like, I don't know a car from a truck from an SUV but like whenever you're talking about it I feel engaged and I feel present in the conversation because it's something that you are so passionate about and mm -hmm. you know so much about and you have like just you you scoured the earth for the best cars and I'm like I want to know about that because you seem like a, a person that I should go to for this type of knowledge you know what I mean yeah, yeah and people sense. come to you for that type of humor like yeah. it's a humor that is specifically yours and you guys have just kind of like paved your way I feel like and that's why you guys have the following that you have today yeah and it's, it's really sad because we like, I'm, I'm almost at 4 million subscribers on YouTube and I feel so guilty that I'm not putting anything out on it anymore. I'm just like, I, we, I've worked so hard to get up here and now I'm just like, what do I do now? Mm -hmm. And I felt like, I feel like that's what Liza felt. That's why she made a second channel mm -hmm. and started posting her videos that were, I, I, I wouldn't say their videos are not worth first channel worthy, but I feel like she felt like they weren't good enough for her main channel. So she put on her second channel and that's how, like, I, I completely understood why Liza was doing that. Cause mm -hmm. I, 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 at first I was like, Liza, your second channel videos are so good. Just put throw your first. But I think that's how, I, that's how I'm thinking right but now. But isn't that such a weird concept? You work that's so still hard you as an artist. That's like, imagine Drake coming out and be like, this is my new album, but yeah. this is Drake too. And this is my it's album. Not good enough this for is, my this main is one. me. But like, no, that is you. That is you yeah. as an artist. That is you as a, a professional in mm. what you do. And this is what you love. You should be proud of mm. anything that you put out, right. whether that's it's a, for that's, fun. That's or, yeah. so interesting to me. Yeah. And I feel like you guys beat yourself up more if you go longer and longer without posting. Because then you're like, well, I well, waited I this long. Now something. I need to come back with something bigger. And it's like. Time just keeps passing and you're like, well, now it has to be this big. Now it has to be this big. People yeah. are going to expect this and that. And it's just like, like you, it's a lot of, it is a lot of pressure. And it sounds like, I, like, I know you guys don't want to sound like brats and be like, oh my, it's so hard. It is hard. Like, that's the bottom line. Like, right. it's, yeah. it's very difficult because you want to make everybody happy, but you also want to be proud of yourself. Otherwise right. you're yeah. going to like fall into a depression and you're not going to want you're really not going to want to do it. Because posting a video that you're not proud of, and then it's, it's like, not a good yeah. feeling. You, you you get comments saying this isn't your best. Yeah, it it feels really shitty, and, mm -hmm. and it makes you not want to post more. And I right. didn't want to put myself in a situation like that where I post a video after yeah. months, and I got comments like that. I was just like, that's what well, I think. I know it's a little different with like TikTok and stuff like that. Like you could really post anything, but when it comes to me, because I am a dancer and I'm such a dancing perfectionist. Yeah. I personally don't like doing the trending TikTok dances. Mm -hmm. I don't like doing it, but I'm like, okay, but this is what's working. And if it's going to be my job, like I need to like play the game a little bit, give people what they want. Yeah. But then I post it and I immediately take it down. Cause I'm like, I'm not proud of this. Like I like, yeah, you know what I that's, mean? That's like, why things I didn't, I didn't even know you were in that position. I didn't think that you were it's, like posting yeah. these fancy videos and it you just weren't like, proud of it and you pulled it. Yeah. It like brings my self esteem down because like I, then go out of my way to come up with choreography for like an hour. I post it on TikTok. I'm super proud of it. And it does terribly. And I'm yeah, like, well, right. then I'm in this limbo of like, do I want to be proud of my work? Do I want to play the game? Like, it's very like stressful. Like it I is. overthink my posts so much. Yeah. Plus getting, like you said, plus getting the comments and getting ripped apart for every little thing. And it's just like, yeah. well, what do people want me I to think, do? And I yeah. think everything starts out as a passion. Everybody films takes pictures, whatever craft you have, whatever it is, mm -hmm. starts out as a passion, something that you truly love. It will start to do well. Then it becomes a job and you feel obligated to do and please and whatever. And then it's up to you at the end of the day to find your passion again with it. And that's what I've been refining for myself. Like yeah. I started learning like about a camera and what I can do with it to manipulate it, to do, you know, manual settings and like figure out how to film different stuff, take different pictures. Like, yeah. and like, then I started like really finding the love again and then finding the passion. So it's like, yeah. it's for you, then it's for others. And then it's up to you to keep it your own yeah it's so funny it's, it's, it's a hard question to answer yeah it was funny i thought of two sayings that i feel very passionately about when mariah was talking i thought of one and when you were talking i thought of one and i think they actually coincide so when she was talking i feel like you know the saying ignorance is bliss right it's like 
it was almost better when you guys were initially posting because you didn't know or care about what people felt about what you were posting. It wasn't even we part didn't. of the equation. Yeah. yeah. So like you guys were just doing it for the fun or because you thought it was funny or because you thought it was a good dance or a good song. But then once people's opinion starts getting involved, it's like you add something else to the equation and it's not fun anymore. You're yeah. now, you now know what people think and it affects what you produce. Mm -hmm. But I also think with what you were saying that knowledge is power and if you can just find a way to make what you're doing, if you just learn more about it, if you want to do go in deeper to camera settings and things, things to keep like the passion alive so that you can still produce things that you are interested in and you're passionate about, then people will still continue to kind of follow suit with just like in the beginning when you guys were posting things and you were posting dances that you were proud of. And that's kind of how you got the platforms that you got today. Right, yeah. It's weird. I know it's a fine line to walk because I can't yeah. speak because from a position that you guys be. how we got to where we are. Yeah. But we, for, we tend to forget that. Yeah. When we, right. When you have like a lot of followers. And we're always so grateful for where we are. We're not, we're not complaining yeah. about like. We just, it's just it's just a constant feeling of stress of like, what do we put stress. out? It's stress. We yeah. want to make it's you guys happy. It's like yeah. stress. And it's, then we go like weeks without like posting anything or, or days without posting anything. And it's just like you get anxious about yeah. it and you're and like, well, what do I, what am I supposed to do now? And it's like, it's not that you're sitting back and chilling and be like, eh, I'm good. Like they can yeah. wait. It's like, you're, you don't know what to post. Like, I feel like every day Heath, you're always like, okay, I need to make a list of like what I'm going to vlog and this and that. Like you're constantly thinking about what can I film? What can I film? And it just like, mm -hmm. but nothing before was filmed like that. Right. You know what I mean? Right. It's so it weird because like over the years, it's almost, <laughs> I keep looking at the sign that says unfiltered and there are just different filters that you look at, like how <laughs> yeah. you can produce the content, but it makes it less authentic. So yeah. it's, it's just always like a fine line mm -hmm. to walk between, okay, we now have a platform that's called unfiltered but how unfiltered is what we're producing? Is it to the level of unfiltered that we want to be? That's how it was in the beginning. When yeah, we were posting whatever the fuck we, we were drunk as fuck half right. of our videos. The shit that I was posting, you should have seen the shit I was posting on my, uh, my, on my YouTube uh -huh. page. We, me and Heath were blacked out at like diners, like laughing, but having saying whatever, fun. and having fun and people loved it. And it got to the point where Sponsors got involved and sponsors had a certain like, you know, the, also you guys grew up <laughs> Also, we grew right. up. But yeah, like, but like I mean be completely honest So when it like when it comes to AdSense like what like AdSense as in like the the ad the ad roles that play on your channel mm -hmm. Those start disappearing once your content gets really dirty and like, you know, we're out here Everything's so fucking expensive rents expensive. I can't afford to lose AdSense because I want to make dirty content. You know, it's like, I, I'm not getting enough deals on the side for it to cover that. So I had to clean shit up mm -hmm. and it sucked because I feel like that did change right. my authenticity for the channel. It used to, it used to be me and he drunk all the time being funny. And then it got so clean cut and yeah. it just got worse and worse. I'm mean, not worse and worse as in like my content, but like worse and worse as in like how I felt about right. making mm -hmm. it. And I feel like there's moments where you guys think like, oh my gosh, the Denny house was our peak. Like, I feel like you guys genuinely are just like, that's people still talk about the Denny house days. And it kind of like brings you guys down a little bit. Cause you're like, well, I'm trying to be better. I'm trying to improve. Like you have high productions on your videos. You're getting nicer cameras. Like, it's just like, but people are still bringing up like, eh, you were better here. You were funnier yeah. here. And it's just like, well, we're growing up. And then it's also, it's a career now. And no like, matter what, yeah. you people, you got, people don't like change. We all compare ourselves. Like even comparing yeah. ourselves to other creators where you're like, well, I can do what they do, but like, how come I'm not there? You know what I mean? It's like a disease. Mm -hmm. It's really comparing yeah. yourself is horrible but it's easier said than done to like not do that yeah. it's just yeah. like it's there's so many factors and it like exactly they go we prefer the denny house now it's the kenny house <laughs> <laughs> yeah and the, and the denny house everything was so new and fresh we all like we were all best friends at the time and we all were all living together for the first time it was very exciting and right, i think right, right. that made it easier for us to push out all this content because mm -hmm. everything was so new people didn't know us at all right it was and just it's, so it's just it was so new yeah it's it's but now the, we like everything's just right i mean and it's the same thing no matter what with tv shows with youtubers whatever it is a lot of people when something new is introduced they hate it they're very skeptical and once that comes around now it's the new favorite yeah any tv show i've watched yeah if they introduce a new character i'm like yeah, that's not I'm one of the original. I always hate you. Hate it. Yeah, Game of Thrones. Anybody that's new, like you're just like, 
No. Fuck that. Absolutely not. Yeah, that's true. Then they're around a little bit longer, and you're like, oh, wait, no. Wait, I do like this person. Then they become the fucking the greatest mm-hmm. just because they are new, and it's somebody new to fall in love with. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Everything is a cycle. It's funny because I, I used to work for a high-end retailer that rhymes with coochie, <laughs> and and it fashion is cyclical like yeah. it'll be like trends that were in the 70s they'll they will come back in the 2000s and then the 2010s the 80s trends will come back belt bags like yep. which were used yeah. they used yeah. to be called fanny packs uh-huh. that used to be it, it was cool in the 80s and then it was taboo because it was lame and now it's cool again and it, i have a fanny pack in that closet from the 80s i have my a, mom's i have one on the floor right from here the 80s <laughs> No, no. From baby, the, that's from not, not cool. From the 80s. Yeah, it's my mom's. So that's a fanny my, pack. It was my mom's in the 80s. Yeah. <laughs> Vintage. So it's adorable. Insulin. Baby, that's not your fanny pack. That's your diabetes bag. <laughs> yeah, that's my insulin bag. <laughs> At the end of the day, you can't please everybody. Yeah. That's yeah. the bottom line. You cannot please everybody. You got to do what makes you happy. Work hard and you will get to where you deserve. Do that's what it. makes you happy. I love that. Um, but also... Well, damn, that's a <laughs> make a, that coin. That's a long. <laughs> <laughs> that was a long ass answer. I know. Uh, uh, well, ex- so thank you for your call. <laughs> thank you, uh, for your call. Olivia. I hope you. I hope that twenty minute Shakespearean play <laughs> answers your question. I know one of these questions one day is gonna make us all cry because the fact that how yeah. deep we got to all these answers, mm-hmm. all these questions. But like even even I already that, know. like just to answer that question again, like this conversation we just had is shit that we would do. Normally outside of this, like this is like us. This is yeah. who we are, and this is like us having a normal conversation. This is this is for us to talk, and we are actually venting to each other. Yeah, and like talking That's about true. real shit. But I, and, but at the same time, it is for you because you asked the question. And it's for the listeners, and like hopefully people are getting some sort of lesson out of this, and you know taking our experience. Yeah, imagine and, like the lesson, lesson learned. People are like, oh, so you said I should quit. I'm gonna quit. <laughs> and we have all these people quitting their jobs. Zanny, he, they go up to their boss. Zanny, he said, "Fuck you." <laughs> I made a TikTok account. I'm like, no, 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 don't do that yet. <laughs> I think, don't quit your job yet. <laughs> I think that's what the beauty of this entire segment is, though, with the whole call-in thing, is because I feel like you guys have wanted to feel connected to the fans yeah. in a positive way, right. and not not make it like something that you feel like you have to filter because the fans feel a certain way, but you want to feel like you're authentically talking to them or having a connection, like a connection that was genuine, like in the beginning when yeah. you originally got your following, I feel like we wanted to get back to that. And I feel like, I feel like we've made a little breakthrough tonight. We did. You know? I do really like, I Feels think we're, we're sliding right back in to that. Yeah. Yeah. I liked it. I do too. I we too. should come up with more things like this. More things like, like you guys calling into the number again, which we will leave uh, below. Please yeah. make sure to check it out. Yes. <laughs> yeah, right. The number is going to be in the description, right? Yeah. And both audio and video. Mm-hmm. Yep. All right. Should we should we should we wrap it up? I think this might be Let's a two-hour podcast. I have to pee again. I have a bladder problem, like I said earlier, and. Okay, you want to you want to end it? Let's end it off real quick. Let's let's finish it. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning into Zany Heath Unfiltered. Mm-hmm. We love you guys so much. We hope you enjoyed that little call-in session that we had. We're gonna be doing that. I hopefully every podcast. I think we should have enough where we can do every one. If uh, y'all will keep calling in, yeah. we will right, keep right. answering. Exactly. Um, answering. It's a rin. <laughs> we post the audio form of this podcast every Monday on mm-hmm. uh, Spotify, on Apple, and all that good stuff. And we post a video form on our YouTube channel on youtube.com slash Zane and Heath. Right. And thank you guys again. We love you guys so much. And everybody say bye, Bubba's. Bye, bye, bye Bubba's. Bye, baby. Bye, Hasta. Love you. <laughs>